Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Thursday Night Therapy, where five friends from across time and space come together for some much-needed cathartic Dungeons and Dragons. Absolutely. How are we all this evening? Wonderful. All right. Absolutely. Slightly oh, yeah. drunk. <laughs> uh, so, which equals oh, wonderful. Gosh. So. <laughs> for me, yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely an improvement on my normal status. I mean, I'm halfway through my coffee, but I do have my apple pie moonshine standing by. No. Oh, no. Fine. It's no. Fine. It's always, no, it's always fun when Nuts drinks. You are limited. <laughs> I will cut you off, young man. My what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, as ever, we have our, um, our credits where it's due, so please let's stand by. All maps in this stream, or video, depending where you're watching it, were created using assets from Forgotten Adventures. A whole bunch of tokens used were also obtained from Forgotten Adventures. They are super cool. Go check them out. www.forgotten-adventures.net There'll be a link to the website in the chat and also in the description of this video. I keep like, realising that when I, when I recorded that, the bit where it goes www. It sounds like I've I've cut myself off and then I'm coming back in again. Like it's it's really oddly timed and I probably should re-record it, but I probably won't because it's forget. fine. It adds it's to the charm fine. of the stream. <laughs> is that a, is that a very nice way of saying it sounds awful? No, um, I, d- I actually didn't notice. So okay. good. Well, you will now. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again, oh, just shit. to make sure. Don't no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I forgot what my uh, nightbot. Um, uh, command is for the uh, thingy. So let me just find that because I need to do it as part what? of the contract. Thingy. Uh, forward. There we go. Right. It's uh, basically I have created a little command so that the nightbot oh. has has a has a link to uh, Forgotten Adventures. Oh, that's snazzy. Isn't that's it? very good. Nice. In them. There you go. Steve. I need to look at how to actually make commands and do very, a few different very, things. very simple. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm just dumb and haven't figured it out yet. Mm, yes. All right then. So, um, there we go. Uh, we, not, we haven't got any, no news. I don't think. No news. Nothing, uh, nothing we can think of. No, nothing. Nothing burning. We are. We are all okay for for continuing over the Christmas break, as far as we know, aren't as, we? Or have as far we? As we know. Nothing's so. come up for anybody. No, nothing's come up yet, but. But of no. course, if you if you want to keep abreast of our um, you know movements and if anything is cancelled, make sure you check us out on Twitter and other social networks uh, to be kept up to date with uh, things as they progress. I yes. was waiting for someone to do it. There we go. Uh, <laughs> plug, plug, uh, plug, plug, plug. The plug, nice plug. casual plug there. Yeah, that's what. No, 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 no. Stepping away from that one. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the only other thing I do have to add is that um, I am um, heavily, heavily back into painting miniatures again. So at some mm-hmm. point, I'm sure Sean and I will do a another painting stream yep. of some description. Yes. Oh, and also, obviously, we have Never Winter Wednesdays on Wednesdays. Uh, Wednesdays. Would you believe? Indeed. Uh, where we play Never Winter Nights. The 2003 one, not the current like MMORPG paid yeah. to win thing that I haven't touched with a 10 foot basketball. Um, so there we go. With that, <laughs> um, let us begin. It feels like waking from a nightmare, only to find that you are hallucinating. We escaped the subterranean city only to find ourselves in the Feywild, or what's left of it. We found ourselves in a surreal landscape bathed in permanent dim evening light, a settlement stretching into the distance, first tents, then small huts, and eventually stone buildings and more permanent dwellings. People began to gather, 
all reaching out to Bonk as some kind of father figure. These were all the people he had saved from the material realm. Now a blasted wasteland where horrors stalked the last remnants of civilization. It makes sense that they would see him as their savior, although it's going to take some getting used to. We were introduced to a couple of Bonk's friends before he finally collapsed into a deep sleep. When he woke, Bonk explained all that had happened. The world, it seemed, had ended, and we were to blame. The immensity of it all hit me hard. I thought I'd had time, time to gather my strength and strike back, to, back at the Ufteris Dominion and have my vengeance. But they too had seemingly been swept away. All hope for the people I wanted to save had gone, and Zon Kuthon had taken any chance of atonement and justice I had away. So, of course, he must now die. Excellent. Thank you very much, Rune. So, here we are, in the Twilight Court. That's a bit of a jarring... Uh, there was no crossfade there, was there? <laughs> um, yeah, so it has been uh, a few days. Or say, I say days. Uh, it's been a few cycles of Twilight and Night. Basically, when Bonk remembers to actually make it night. Um, you know, <laughs> when, when someone actually reminds him that... Uh, <laughs> Please, Father Bonk, we need to sleep. Um, yes, it's been a few days. Uh, certain works have been carried out for some members who asked for things some people during the yes yeah during the downtime Ooh, that's gone a little bit weird here we go had two songs playing at once there I'm not too sure yeah. what happened <laughs> yes that was strange <laughs> yes Dis <laughs> dissonant you might say mm. anyway so uh, it is about three days three days give or take uh, since uh, Rune stormed into the Forge of Oakenheart and made some demands. <laughs> He's been working with him ever since. Uh, I don't know whether you want to uh, describe what uh, you've been working on or whether you want to... So, after three days of almost constant clanging and banging, poor... poor uh, what's his name? Oaken, Oakenheart? Oaken... Oakenheart, yep. Oakenheart. Um, poor Oakenheart and Snicked might have actually seeked temporary accommodation to, to sleep when they needed to. Um, Rune just couldn't be stopped. Um, he hasn't sat down to have his like med his four hours of meditation or anything. He's just been just kind of working on this thing. And uh, the um, kind of halfway through the third day he finally emerges from the hut and he is holding um, this huge huge war scythe um, and the the blade of it is like um, a, lo a long raven's wing um, and the counterbalance behind the uh, behind the blade is a crow's skull all in all in metal um, and it's all been it, it's been shaped like that and it's also got some um, some runes carved into it and some names um, and the trinket that he had around his neck is uh, is embedded in the um, in uh, in kind of where the uh, where the shaft meets the um, the blade and it's kind of been uh, permanently not welded I don't know how you describe it it's kind of like melded into it um uh, yeah and he's just standing there looking looking at it in the in the light in the in the daytime light and inspecting it and making sure it's sharp Jesus Christ <laughs> before I react to this um when you say war scythe do you mean um what what angle is the blade? Because I think most yeah. real war scythes they, they were more vertical rather than a, a ninety yeah. degree, a, degree yeah, angle. Into this. No, it's, he's got, he's actually he's gone for a harvest scythe. It's like it's a harvest like, it's scythe. like a harvest scythe. Yeah, 
Okay. Jesus, you've really gone Grim Reaper on us. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I like it. It's cool. Yeah. There's no, there's no actual uh, rules for um, kind of harvest servers of weapons, so we're kind of going Because it shouldn't work, but this is a fantasy yeah. setting, so... Fuck yeah, it. exactly. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and rule of cool... Uh, overrules Absolutely. sensibility. So, uh, yeah. rule of angry Asima. That too. <laughs> I am a vengeful spirit. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Very nice. Thank you for the, for the description there, Nats. That's brilliant. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, other, other items that have been created um, have also been passed out. Ooh. So, what exactly have you guys decided you're going to be doing? Well, if we've been here for the last couple of days... Yeah. Um, we would have talked about it. Mm-hmm. Although, I mean, we kind of talked it last session. I think yeah. we were all unanimous that um, if if it's possible... We need to get back to... Um, trying to get in contact with the Raven Queen would probably yeah. be the most helpful thing. So um, I think... Um, that would entail a conversation with Bonk to find out just how accurately he can um, transport us from mm, how uh, close this he can get us to the to the material one. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking um, of our giant purple friend, yes. If people have been in and around doing things, I probably would have been following him quite a lot, and uh. Just, just watching him and learning about him and whatever the fuck happens in this plane because this is obviously very new. Mm-hmm. Uh, because this place didn't exist before, so a little curious, shall we say? Yeah. And so I've just been following Bonk. So if there's any information I would have learned from that, other than what the fuck, there's a giant purple bugbear with magic. Hmm. Uh then I would be interested to hear it. But if not, do please continue. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, following him around, it is... There's no... He, he doesn't have a schedule. He doesn't go certain places at certain times. He literally walks around waiting for people to ask him to do stuff. Oh, bless him. Um, and a lot of people have a lot of things to ask for. And some things are simple, and some things are not quite so simple. Uh, occasionally, it'll be a case of, you know, oh, Lord Bonk... Um, can you create uh, a certain type of tree, for instance? Uh, they might be asking for maybe a citrus tree or uh, something with a certain type of wood uh, that they would like to be able to, you know, uh, create a staff or a bow, maybe, or something, anything along those lines. And you'll watch, and Bonk will wander off, and he'll find a clear area where you know it's not going to be interrupting any of the dwellings. And he will stand, and you will see him. He will always have his axe in his hand when this is occurring. And after some concentration, a tree will spring from the ground and, you know, grow almost in in fast forward. It will come up, it will be fully uh, laden with fruit, or it will be um, seasoned enough to be to chop down and turn into uh, a tool or whatever it is that the person has has requested. He is is essentially, you know, doing made to measure or made to uh, order um, materials basically um, if um, if, a, if a tree is created that is uh, for fruit or, or, or you know, anything like that then the tree will be left and it will continue to bear fruit um, as and when it's required essentially uh, but if it's a tree which is only being used for fuel or for uh, materials then once it's done the stump will then sink back into the ground and it will be like nothing was there that's oh. very cool wicked uh, some people uh, simply wish to talk to him and he's always happy to listen some people just want to say thank you for you know rescuing them because every single one of the people here um, aside from maybe some of the children uh, are all people that he has rescued mm. they are all you know refugees <coughs> from the real world um, there's some children running around that um, have never known anything other than this place because it's been uh, roughly 20 years obviously time is rather fluid when it comes fluid, to the yeah. world. yeah <laughs> um, but some of, some of these kids have been born here 
um, and no, don't know anything else as far as they're concerned. This is just where they live. Um, the There's no kind of school system or anything like that. It appears to be that people just, you know, they teach the children what they need to know as they need to know it. Uh, there's no... Notably, there's no temples to any other gods or anything like that. Uh, if you were particularly... Yeah, because I'm, I'm, yeah, it's been a couple of days, so you would have been wandering around and being observant, I'm going to imagine. Yeah. So you will see that there are some people who still wear uh, iconography of gold, of gold, of gods from uh, the real world. The old gods or the Raven Queen or... Um, you'll see some for like Moradin or okay. Nathanda. You know, they're, not, they're few and far between. There's not. It's not like there's a. You know, it's not like people come together in congregation for a certain god. You'll just see that they are wearing, you know, maybe a necklace, maybe uh, something, you know, that hangs from the belt, or just. It's, it's it's random. It's not like there's an organized religion here. It's just maybe people yeah. have, aren't happy to let go of them. They just yeah, there mm-hmm. might be something to give them uh, give them comfort, despite the fact that, <clears throat> as far as they're aware, nothing. The, the, the actual gods themselves aren't there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, you you kind of answered the question I had, and that would have been what they were doing for um, for food. But uh, I guess he's just growing trees and vegetables as they need it. Mm-hmm. There's no livestock, or is there livestock? Um, there are. There is a couple of cows. Um, however, they don't look like the kind of cows that you uh, would normally see because they've been eating fey wild grass for quite a long time. Yeah. Um, so as such, they are odd colours. Uh, mm. doesn't doesn't seem to be anything else wrong with them that you can tell. Um, but yeah, there is a paddock uh, that has been set off to one side. Um, a couple of cows that have um, either been reared here or possibly rescued uh, from the from the real world. If there's any. Yeah, if if anything like that is is come across, then Bonk will grab it and bring it bring it along if he can. To be um, fair, Bonk could easily pick up a couple cows. Yeah, literally grab it and bring it along if he can. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, that is the yeah, that's, that tends to be what they do for food. It doesn't it doesn't look like they slaughter the animals. They are probably used, but more, much more likely used for milk um, and other and maybe beasts of burden as well. Yeah, although obviously Bonk is himself a beast of burden. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, for for water, um, yeah. So as you as you you know, if, as you guys explore the place, you will find that there is a a central river um, that has been created. Uh, across the other side of the river is pretty much just blank um, scenery. It's just kind of grass that leads off into a, a hazy uh, hillscape. The water itself looks perfectly clear, you know, very inviting. However, no one is swimming in it. And when people uh, take water from the river in buckets, uh, they don't take it straight home. They uh, pass it through what appears to be uh, some sort of metal box that has been situated on the riverbank. Um, Looking at it, you'll see that it has like a a very fine mesh of uh, metal in the top. And then as the water is poured through, it is then... um, then uh, released out, out of the bottom uh, in, a, in, in a funnel. Uh, if you were to ask any of the uh, people who live here, well, you know why this might be the case, which I imagine you probably would have done. Well, uh, I, it, if I recall, this is something that Snick told us about. <coughs> the water makes you glow. Indeed, yes. Fey yeah. wild water makes you glow if nice. you drink it. So um, he, along with uh, Oakenheart, uh, designed a machine that uh, basically filters it and makes it uh, you know drinkable without um, turning into a glow stick <laughs> because uh, while it doesn't have you know any you know issues other than possibly you know having the people around you having trouble sleeping because you're glowing uh, no one really knows what would happen if you were to drink it regularly mm. um I'd like to fill my water skin with it. Okay. <laughs> so the, I, the the unfiltered water. The unfiltered okay. water. So this, um, oh, where is it? What's the name of the spell? Uh, here we go. Right, yeah. So 
anyone drinking this water um, will have the effect of fairy fire. Oh, that's very cool. On them permanently? No, no. Uh, for the actual, for the length of this, however long the spell lasts for. Oh, but it'll be however, on them, so they won't be able. They'll be at disadvantage of stealthing and stuff. Yeah. Yes. So if you drink it, you have fairy fire, and it looks like it only lasts for up to a minute. So okay. that's fine. But oh, yeah, it's the only reason. A minute. Okay. Yeah, that's how long fairy fire lasts for. Um, right. However, you know, as they say, they don't really know what would happen if you were to drink it unfiltered for a, a long, a lengthy period of time. Yeah. It's entirely possible that you may never stop glowing. Well, we don't <laughs> need to eat or drink. Mm-hmm. So I'm just collecting this because. <laughs> yeah. Because it could be funny. Yep. <laughs> so I will. Uh, Type into my inventory. Water skin, Feywild, Fairy Fire. Yep. <laughs> yep. So basically, uh, any any anything which uh, imbues the water will um, be outlined in blue, green, or violet light. I uh, you, fucking love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> and it, I'm and it should, going to find <laughs> some way to fuck with you with this. <laughs> it's going to be glorious. Uh huh. And the uh, yeah the, the whatever color light it is uh, is shed uh, as dim light in a ten foot radius. Dim light, ten foot radius. Got it. Mm-hmm. That's fun. That's an interesting thing. I'm gonna fuck with. <laughs> I would like to have done something over the couple of days that we're there. Okay. Um, and I wanted to ask a question first. In that, as a ranger, my one of my favorite terrains, or have favorite terrain is forest and like mountain would okay. you class where we are and the fate wild in general as that i know a lot of the fate wild is forest it was um <laughs> yeah in this particular instance the area is mostly flat it's mostly just flat ground um mainly because the person who created it doesn't have much of an imagination okay. uh, when it comes to stuff uh, like this uh, you have the uh, the the kind of the hillock that he lives in his actual home, uh, which stands out quite clearly against the actual landscape. Um, but most of it, uh, you know, most of the tents and and the the, the kind of pseudo buildings are all on flat land. Um, the tree itself, the, the tree, uh, sticks out as the center point for everything. The um, the actual village itself is basically a circle around the tree that radiates out from the center. Okay. I'll tell um, you what I want to do, and you can make the decision whether you allow it or not. Okay. Um, what I want to do is, at some point, Tarathia would have walked away and, and found a little spot just to sit and kind of focus. And I would, uh, using one of my spell slots, I would use uh, a third-level spell slot, so this would last three minutes, using primeval awareness. So as an action, I can... Um, <laughs> Using a spell slot out to one mile, but six miles in favoured terrain, okay. I can sense creatures of uh, certain types, types of creatures, which is aberration, celestial, dragon, elemental, fey, fiend, undead. Okay. Um, and I would like to just see if I can sense any uh, other beings in the area that we outside of what we're in to see if there are fractured parts of the fey wild or whether there is just nothing. Okay. Ooh. So, sitting and communing with nature in in the way that you are, you feel your consciousness begin to spread out, and you're aware of the grass beneath you. You're aware of uh, the, there's people around you, there's animals around you. As your consciousness uh, gets further away from the center of the tree and where the cent- the circle villages there's nothing that you that your consciousness uh, strikes upon that makes m- makes you aware of anything for as but you can feel your consciousness it keeps going and it keeps going it feels it doesn't feel cold like a void it just feels like potential there's the possibility of things but no clear ping on anything in particular. Right up until the sixth mile, 
of your consciousness. Where does a, does the spell say that it will tell you what the type is, or that there you can just sense there's something there? They are, if they are present, I sense if certain types of creatures are present. Okay, but does it does it let you know what type they are? Um, or can you say that there I, is something there? That's supposed to your interpretation. I sense if certain types of creatures are present. Okay. Aberration, celestial, dragon, elemental, fey, fiend, undead. Oh, you'll be able to know one of those types, yeah, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Okay. At the very, 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 very edge of your consciousness, something, something very, very, very faint, something, it's difficult to, it's difficult to really pin down what it is you're feeling. There's a hint of elemental, there's a hint of fade, there's a hint, a hint of celestial even. Hmm. But nothing concrete, just a, a vague itch at the back of your head that there's something might be there, but nothing that you that is put at this point fully formed. Um, and as the uh, focus comes to an end, I would just return to the group and I would have looked to sort out. Sorry, say that again? Uh, as, as the focus would have ended, mm-hmm. I would have uh, returned to the to the sort of main area and I would sort out Bonk to try and find him. And- oh, okay. Thank you. Yep, so, yep, you return back. Um, I mean, Bonk's not hard to find. He does stand kind of head and to- shoulders above everybody else. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, he's, currently he's uh, chatting to uh, a couple of... Uh, an, an orc woman and, and a, an elf man as they are squabbling over something to do with their tent. <laughs> so, as he becomes free and starts to either walk away or just idly do nothing, uh, I would kind of... Um, appear in front of him mm-hmm. um, and uh, um, Mr. Bonk may I have a moment of your time oh um, yeah uh, t- uh, well, Tarao wasn't it yeah yes that's yeah. correct yes um, I've done a little bit of uh, my own sort of looking as it were focusing beyond this area here do you know of anything beyond this or is this far as you know um, well, to be to be fair, I haven't really gone any further than this because I don't have any reason to go any further than this. And as far as I'm aware, if I don't go somewhere, it doesn't exist yet. That kind of makes sense, I suppose. Um, basically, I reached out and focused and tried to find if there was anything left here. I mean, this... This is my home plane of existence, and it it worries me if there is what's nothing left. I suppose you I suppose you would call it. Um, and I I got the feeling of something way 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 beyond, but I couldn't tell exactly what this was. Um, and I came to speak to you to see if maybe one time you'd come back and you'd found something different or, or or do you always return here yeah i mean whenever i leave i go through the tree and whenever i come back i come back through the tree um really things just kind of appear as i need them to yeah so, so uh i mean you know if you look out there and he points off into like the the, the distance the um horizon yeah, there's a very fuzzy, I you know, idea of uh, maybe some a tree line and some greyish mountains going up. Because yeah, you see that you know that kind of bit out there. It, it actually looks like that if you get up close to it. I um I felt that you know it it there being nothing around all the edges was a bit unnerving for people because it's just flat and there's no end to it. So. I felt that basically having something out there to make it look like there's something in the distance it actually makes people feel better. But, I mean, if you look at it closely, you might actually realise that it is actually the same two mountains um, and tree line just kind of repeated um, all the way around. And, would, I mean, it's just, a, just an idea, but 
would you be able to venture in a certain direction if I gave you a heading? Or no, yeah, is probably. This as far as we can go. No, no. There is. Uh, I'll be honest. I haven't. I'd, and he kind of leans down and starts to speak a bit quiet. He's like, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want it to be let on, really, but I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just kind of doing stuff as it happens. No, that's you know? quite okay. It's, uh, it must have been quite hard for you, and there's been a lot to take on, and you seem to have quite a lot of responsibility on your shoulders as it stands anyway, but uh, this is just us. This is, I mean, this is what I do. This is, I seek out the unknown very much. Um, maybe it's something for a future endeavor that we could maybe try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm always up for a bit of adventure, me. Um, but like I say, as it stands, there isn't really anything out there that I don't make myself. Well, that's that's something. There is something. Right. Okay. Right. What what that is, I do not know. Right. Quite yet. But uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, Bonk, Mister Bonk. I um, I will leave you be now, and I will ponder some. Which, uh, out of interest, which, uh, which direction was it that you, uh... That way. And then, yeah. That way, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you, you see him kind of look off in the direction that you point and just see, just kind of, you know, a, a bit of a brow furrow slightly. Just... All right, I mean, yeah, if it's nothing to worry about for the moment, we won't worry about it. But, I'll, yeah, thanks for letting me know. I will, I will keep an eye out and just, you know, if anything maybe, weird happens. Maybe this is something I will look to do regularly while we're here and I will certainly notify you if this changes if it gets any closer maybe yeah no I appreciate it thank you yeah thank you Bog good day to you no good day and I leave chasse away chasse away (laughs) (laughs) okay right anything else from anybody else um the only the only other thing is that um Rune will um, Rune will uh, ga- uh, find the guys when they're gathered and um, he will just say um, hmm, what will he say <laughs> he wants to apologise yeah okay so as everyone's gathered um, he will just he will just say look I am uh, very sorry for uh, for what happened. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of emotions, and uh, I, I I I had not grasped the gravity of the situation. Uh, there are lots of things that I wanted to do. I'm not going to be able to do them now. Uh, an explanation, maybe, of my of my past is uh, a little overdue to you, Grey. Um, but we have other pressing matters, so it can wait for another time. But uh, do we think do we think we can get close to the Cave of Lights? Well, I think that's what Mr. Bonker starts. Uh, I mean, I've been trying to remember over the past couple of days where exactly it was. I mean, it feels like years and years ago, but, um... Is this Cave of Lights? Is this a... a... a actual place? Yes, so uh, we... Somewhere that anyone can sort of get to, or not anyone? Yeah, I mean, we... we we found it by... uh, we we travelled by ship, there was a um, an entrance, a hidden entrance that we had to, uh, I believe, for some sort of blood sacrifice was involved. And then once inside, we had to traverse a few obstacles. But no, it was a, a very real place. Um, and Herr Bonk took you there? No, this was actually before we met. Uh, before we met Bonk um, that's why it's going to be a little more difficult to try and get there I mean I uh, see. 
I'm going to be very honest. Me, a player, I'm mm. <laughs> I'm struggling to remember where exactly it was. That's fine. Uh, it, it's uh, yeah, but I'm sure that Gray would remember much better than I did. I keep thinking an island, but that's just because we went to an island looking for yeah. the eye. But yeah. I don't think the an cave island was. Where we died, but I don't yeah, think. I think it was simply somewhere was. on the coast. It was somewhere on the coast, but it was very remote, and it was very hard to. It was like kind of like a secret entrance thing, wasn't it? So, yeah, yeah. people couldn't stumble yeah. across Probably. it. Do we have yeah. a copy of the map, or is that obsolete? Because I, I, I'd, I'd, oh, I'd well, remember it probably if I saw the map. But. We, yeah, I mean, we, uh, Tr- Troy did say that we have everything on us that we had on us before, uh, yeah. before we were slain. So we should still have the map. Okay. So, um, we'll, yeah, we won't, you know, we won't roleplay this because obviously it's, yeah, just, yeah, it's, oh, I remember this and I remember this. Um, so you, you sit down with Bonk, uh, you show him the map that you had, and you, you know, show him roughly where you believe the, Cave of Lights was was previously. Uh, Bonk has a very good memory for underground passages, uh, due to his background, if I remember rightly, um, and thinks more in terms of that than uh, mm. overground. Uh, you met him outside Britha Tower, if I remember rightly, uh, at the Night Gate. Yeah. Um, no, so I he, think we met him in. Britha he Tower, was asle- he? he was asleep but in a stable, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Indeed, asleep in a stable. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You went through the night gate, on through the Isle of Knox, across the bridge, and to the first inn that you came to, and who was asleep. But yeah, good, good, right. Yeah. So, Chiron left the night before, and Bob yeah. joined you the following morning. How convenient yeah. was that? Mm. Um, <laughs> Almost like it was planned. I know, right? <laughs> um, yeah. So being able to basically, you you point out to him where Bertha Tower was. And you say, well, yeah, this is obviously where we met you, Bob. And then you trace your, your, your path back to where you came from. Because you went pretty much from there um, to to the broken, you know, across the plains, to the broken handle, had your little, you know, interlude there, and then went straight off to Breath of Tower. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, you basically, you trace back to him and you show him roughly where it was that you, you want to go. So he studies the map and he looks at his right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no. Oh, right. Yeah, no, there's a really good um, network of tunnels just north of that where you want to be. Yeah, I know where that is, actually. And he, oh. he says, right, follow me. And he makes his way through the through the village, back to the tree. This is perfect. Uh, no. Would this be uh, particularly dangerous, Bonk? Have you mm-hmm. been here since the world uh, you know, ended? Well, <laughs> when I say I know where it is, I should probably say I know where I it know was. Where it was, yeah. Mm. Okay. So, just bear me a second. And uh, Nadia has, has followed you. And uh, interestingly, Snicked uh, is also uh, left his little uh, al- al- alchemist co- uh, cove. No, um, <laughs> hovel, hovel, yes. hovel. And uh, he appears to be. You know, he's he's got uh, a tiny little bit of um, parchment in his little claws. And he seems to be waiting patiently. But uh, as you make your way towards the tree, um, the uh, the regular uh, I don't want to say worshippers because Bonk wouldn't like that, but the um, the camp <laughs> followers yeah. who uh, who hang around out out you know out, out just just on the out on the edge of where the foliage starts. Um, as Bonk approaches, they look around, see him, and they all stand up and make the make the uh, sign of the antlers with their hands above their heads. <laughs> Oh, stop it! Wow, haven't you got people got anything better to do? The cult the, the of Lord, Bonk, Father, Father Bonk. We we just we, we wish to gaze upon the majesty of yourself in the tree. Mm. You, together, you are as well. Look, look, stop it! Stop it! Go and do the water or something. <laughs> and he stomps up to the tree and he puts his hand on the trunk roughly around the place that you uh, exited previously and you he closes his eyes and holding his axe in one hand while this is happening uh, Snicked comes up and uh, who who would be at the back out of the uh, four of you me <laughs> <laughs> of course yep the rogues at the back the sneaky yep. one the yep. sneaky one at the back you should keep an eye on that <laughs> keep an eye on him 
Anyone checking for a tender box lately? <laughs> you didn't roll for it anymore. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> um, he comes up behind you and kind of tugs on your uh, your jacket. I'm trying, probably pulling my blade out as he does this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ah. 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 I'm very sorry. I did not mean to startle. Um, you are going uh, back out into the world. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, it would seem so. Good. Um, I can, I can make, I can make things if you bring me materials. Yes. Uh, yeah. Is there something you are looking for? Well, it all depends on what you are looking for. Uh, you adventurers, you you tend to um, you, you take the potions, potions. Yes. Yeah, on occasion. Yes. Uh, I I can make potions. That would be interesting. Yes, I, I have practiced, and uh, they mostly work most of the time. So you you bring me uh, materials, and I bring you uh, potions. Yes. Yeah, I will see what I can do. Hey, uh, if you look in Discord. <coughs> mm-hmm. Ooh, <clears throat> there is an ingredients table. How fun! Ooh. So, uh, a bit more, things bit, got here. bit more credit, uh, credit where credit is due. Um, uh, this is um, uh, modified from a Kibble's Crafting Compendium, uh, which is which can be found uh, on GM Binder by searching for that name. Uh, it is very, very cool and has been very, very, very helpful in me um, putting this little guide together. So, thank you very much, Kibbles. Um, so, yes, whilst out in the world. If you do so choose, because as you may have noticed, probably not a great deal of shops knocking around. Uh, um, no, probably not. So, if you want potions, then you can find ingredients for them and bring them back to Snicked, who can attempt to create potions for you. Interesting. It um, is. It, it is not only healing potions that you can make. Fair. But you would need to find the ingredients for them. It says here monster harvesting, but uh, we can also just forage as well if we find something that we think could be useful. Yes. Or is it yep. just 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 um, okay. just okay. monsters? Yep. So over in the um, on the side there, you can. Um, it, it depends on what. Yeah, exactly. You can you can just forage mm-hmm. around uh, for items if you wish, uh, or if once you've uh, finished, you know killing any monsters you might come across you can also attempt to harvest bits off of them as well mm-hmm. um so over on the side you can see regents you've got curative reactive poisons and exotic they are um otherwise known as common uncommon rare and very rare fair um so yeah you can find is if you're if you're looking for a specific type so for instance if you want to make a healing a regular healing potion you would need <clears throat> three common curatives right um so i would say that you need to find you know three Com- if, if you want to be looking for a certain type of <coughs> region, you would tell yeah. me that you want to look for a curative. And so, okay, cool. So roll on it, and then if you find it, then you got it. And then you make a note of it, and then you bring it back to Snicked, and he'll make stuff for you. Cool. Oh. And awesome. the check that's needed for this... Um, yeah, survival. Survival <clears throat> roll. Oh, I hope someone's got some wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> I have, but I didn't pump survival. <laughs> uh, mine's pretty good. Oh, we do have a ranger. Exactly. We have a ranger. Got I, some, we got some... I was confident that the ranger would be the the, uh, the, the help. <laughs> we have some Excellent. wisdom in the party somewhere. We're good. Hopefully, good wisdom as well. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, yes. I didn't know we had a ranger because I never asked anyone their classes. So <laughs> that's uh, that's good. <laughs> good to know. Good to know. <clears throat> really good to know. Yeah. Yeah. So we have. We have a rogue, we have a ranger, we have a paladin, and we have a warlock. Yarp. But it's we fresh. don't know everyone's subclass necessarily, which oh, is no. interesting, and I like this. <laughs> cool. It's, it's nice. fun to find out later. Yep. So, of course, the uh, the, the crafting bit is completely optional. Um, it just depends on whether you want to do it or not. That's, that's entirely up to you guys. Of course, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I will look at this list and check these ingredients that has been shown to me and 
I will, I'll tuck the bit of paper away and I'll look at Snake and say, yeah, is this, is this something we can do? Uh, some days may be good, some days may be shit. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm sure we can find some interesting things for you to try and to make into potions. Yeah. yeah. Watching a cabal smile is an interesting experience because their <laughs> mouths are not made for it. But basically what happens is that he shows his teeth to you, but the back ends of his mouth kind of turn up a bit. Watching a dead dude smile back is probably not something they're used to either. <laughs> yes. So, look, I'm Some, somewhat unnerving. Yeah. I'm always, I'm always happy to be making the new, uh, new potions. You're putting this stuff, we see what we make. Okay. That's very interesting. I like that idea. That's cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I will I will smile at him. I will shake his hand and say, uh, and we will uh, see you soon, yeah? Yes, yes. I go now. I do not like being outside for too long. Scuttles off. I will pop my hood up uh, and fully draw the sword. Uh, I probably would have stopped when he was looking at me. <clears throat> yes. Uh, to sort of look at whatever Bonk and the rest of them are doing and prepare for all the terribleness of going through a tree portal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, whilst this exchange has been going on, um, Nadia will come to you, Rune, mm. and say, um, oh, Rune, I, I will be staying here. I, uh, this is my home. I've grown up here. Now that you are safe, I don't feel the need to travel anymore. I will stay here and protect the people from anything that may occur. I'll, um, crap, I'll take a knee and uh, scritch Nadia behind the ear and um, put my forehead to hers. And I'll say, Nadia, you have done more than enough. You, you deserve to... Uh, have a little respite. Yeah. I, uh, so, I thank you for everything you have done, and you have grown into such a a beautiful cat. Yeah, it's a, a very deep bass purr <laughs> coming from her. And she oh. obviously she looks over at Rune, just nods slightly. Rune, not Rune, Gray. I always do that wrong. Ah. I just narrow my eyes slightly. <laughs> right. Yes. So, bunk, bunk, bunk steps away from the tree. Right. Okay. Um. As far as I can tell, there is not a tree in the area that you need to go to. But if I, if my geography is right, which it might not be, because things are quite they tend to change quite a bit. Uh, in the real world. I think I can get you to a place where you can then travel to where you need to go. That seems fair. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know exactly the terrain that you'll be going out into, but we'll find out when we get there. It'll be fun, yeah? Of course. And you will come with us? Uh, no. No, no, no. Um, I mean... <sighs> As much as I would like to meet a god, I feel that put my, uh, me and you finding you all again has made me realise how much how important I don't like to say that I'm important, but it's made me realise that if I were to die out there, then I don't know what would happen to the these people. Yes, you are uh, you are much more needed here, Bong. We would not ask this of you. But, obviously, I need, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll still be, you know, happy to drop you off places. I'll, I'll be doing little, little scavenger runs, as I've been doing. But now that I know where you are, I'll, I should be able to find you again. So, when I drop you off at the tree, I'll come back here. And I'll get someone to count for me. And then I'll keep coming back, um every couple of hours and then obviously if you're there then I'll bring you home and if not then I'll I'll just keep coming back until you come back 
Oh, okay. I mean, that, uh, that seems like the best. I was going to ask how we contact you, but I suppose that's not really a possibility. Uh, but that works too. But just, just don't get caught, Bonk, okay? If it feels okay. like two every two hours is too much, then, you know, we can, we can wait. Yeah. Yeah, no, we yeah. yeah, we haven't done this before. We'll, we'll work something out. We'll work something out. It'll, it, it's fine. We'll, we'll play. We'll do. We'll play as we go along. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So he steps back, axe in hand, holds it out straight. The bark of the tree splits. The purple light spills out. What? Who's first? I just um. I literally just like pick up the scythe and stride straight through. Hmm. Go oh, then, I suppose. Yeah. Almost a sigh from Grey, and then he'll follow in behind Rune. We will see you soon, Pebonk. Give well, I mean, I'm, I'm going to come through with you because I need to point you which direction you're going. But just, <laughs> I'm just getting you to go first. Yeah, as that works. And I'll walk. <laughs> yep, so you step into the light. The warm, embracing light as you step through and then step out again into a far less embracing light. Ooh. Around you is a red wasteland. For as far as the eye can see, it appears to just be a blank, flat, red expanse. And the sky above, equally dark and red. Uh, the air is still, but warm, but an unpleasant, sticky warmth. And as you step out onto this, gr- onto the sand that uh, spreads out from from you, you look back up at the, the tree that you've stepped through. Looking, it, it's far less majestic compared to the prime tree that you uh, have seen in the Twilight Court. This one appears to be growing out of uh, an outcropping of stone. And Bonk steps out and... Ah, yeah, right. I wasn't thinking it was going to be looking like this, but I guess this is uh, this is what we have to have to deal with in the current situation. This is how uh, everywhere looks? No, no. Some places look far, far worse. How can oh. this look any worse than this? Well, some places are made of people. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's us. Not all of you them. You mean dead. like? Oh, oh. Mm. I mean, I, I was going to ask that as a joke, but uh, I'll refrain from doing so in the future. Um, <laughs> is there any sort of anything we need to watch out for? Are there any? Yes. Creatures or? Yes. <laughs> Sandworms. Like? I haven't met one, but I wouldn't rule it out. Okay, so generally keep a low profile. Uh, as best you can. Uh, if I could have dropped you off somewhere else, I happily would have done. I don't like the idea of you walking out in the open like this, but um, this is the closest tree that I could. I, could, I think I can find. Bonk. You could literally walk away now and leave us, and you would already have done too. Have done too much. No. Yeah. No, agreed. I, I, can, I, I can never, never. I can never do too much. Mm. Right. Okay. Uh, I think, and he he stops, closes his eyes, and he spins slowly. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. So that way, and he behind the outcrop of rock that the tree's growing from, um, he points off into the, into the distance, and there are um, actual what appear to be sand-colored sand coloured uh, sand sandstone cliffs, rather than the red expanse you've got here. I'm pretty sure it's that way. 
Oh, uh, that used to be uh, a granite mountain range, but I'm, I think something's happened and it's not anymore. But as far as I can tell, going by what I can feel through the tree and what I remember of the tunnels in this area, that I believe is the right way. Okay. Oh, that, that's good if enough he's, for me. If he's pointed in that direction, can I do like a quick sweep in every other direction just mm -hmm. to see what I can see? Yes. So the the view from uh, as you walk out um, is the one that you see on the screen. It's just flat, uh, dead, you know, blackened shrubbage. Lightning is dancing across a very darkened sky, and the picture makes it look lighter than it is. It is basically almost nighttime dark here. The sky is constantly roiling, and you know, as if, as if the sky, as if, as if the clouds are in, uh, have been put in fast forward, and you know, like it, as you get when you get montages of, you know, clouds racing across the sky, it looks like that constantly. Okay. Uh, that's uh, terrifying a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you, so that's that's what you see in that direction. Looking uh, left and right, uh, off to uh, one other side, there there appears to be large, not exactly thin, but more slender constructs in the far off distance. Um, they appear to be black or made of some sort of black substance, and they reach up into the sky, uh, up into the clouds, so you can't see the top of them. Uh, there's about five or six of them dotting the, dotting the horizon from what you can see from here. Like clumped together or spaced out reasonably? Okay. And uh, off to the other direction, the other point of the compass, uh, other than the one that bon uh, Bonkers pointed you towards, um, is the, it appears that the, the ground begins to rise slightly in, into more of a, a hilly landscape. Um, it no longer appears to be red off in that distance, um, but you can't, it's a dark colour, but you can't really make out what it is. Fair. Yeah. Okay. Fict is just scanning the horizon, looking for any creature, any movement, anything of note. So he's just constantly scanning while Bonk is talking. The, uh, the kind of the dead shrubbage that you see lit around occasionally you know, rattles like a, almost like a tumbleweed um, in, a, in, the, in the scant breeze that is here, but other than that noise and that movement, and the sky moving, clearly, mm -hmm. uh, not, not much else appears to be moving around here. Fair enough. Right, so yeah, I'll be back here in a few hours. See if you're if you're here. If not, then I'll I'll keep checking. Very well. I'll uh, I'll pat him on the shoulder and I say, "Cannot thank you enough, Bonk, But uh, there'll be time for that later on when we return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, of course. Oh, um, if you hear a wolf howling, run. But just know. run. Any direction? Uh, away from where the sound's coming from. Makes sense. Yeah. Let's just run. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, I, uh, and I, I mean, I mean run. Far and fast. If you see it, if you see the thing that, I, that you saw earlier before, don't try and fight it. Please. All right. Okay. I mean, right. it came out of the lava. I, I don't really want to hang around to see what <laughs> else it can do. Yeah, that's sensible. That's sensible. That will keep you alive, that kind of thinking. Well, good. I yeah. might be dead, but I don't want to become more dead. Yeah, exactly. I'm a, bit, a bit confused about that, but still, no. Anyway, yeah, so uh, that's what I can think of. Um, if you see, if you meet anybody, don't trust them. Um, if you see anything that tries to kill you, kill it back. And um, don't die. If I Sounds see anything good. such as here, you have no problem with me stealing from them. Oh no, you carry on. But obviously, if you bring anything back into, into the toilet core that um, causes anyone any problems, then uh, we'll have problems. Yeah, I shall bring it to you first. And if you don't like it, you can hit it with your axe. Sensible. Yep. Well, shall we then? Off to our second deaths, I suppose. 
Let's hope not. But yes. Yes, very much hope not. Um, onwards, I suppose. Okay. Again. So, bonk steps back through the tree. I have a question as Bonk yes. disappears. Um, everything here is quite. I don't know if monochromatic is the correct word, but everything is very red. Mm -hmm. Is this due to the... Uh, is this redness coming from above so that everything is tinted red, including us? Or are we currently sticking out like sore thumbs? Uh, you... Uh, yeah, uh, okay, okay, I get what you mean. No, the, the light here is simply mm. dim. Um, the, the, the sand is red. Right. Okay, so we are kind of out of place. In mm -hmm. that case, um, I don't know how far this cantrip will suffice, <clears throat> but how far would press the digitation go into simply changing the colour of uh, uh, clothing or possibly even skin mm. just to kind of camouflage us? I don't know if it would do a whole... Mm, I, I don't, don't think so, no. No, uh, I think that's is. too much, isn't it? It's a bit, yeah. It's a very that'd, that'd be more like disguise self. Yeah, no, the, yeah. Um, press the digitation, as far as I remember, is one cubic foot of effect. Yeah, I can yeah. like change someone's hair color, or I think I can add a pattern to clothing or something. But I don't think I could change like uh, everything give, on the person. Yeah, to give you an idea, um, it's like a, it's a minor magical trick that novice spellcasters use for practice. Uh, to, to, yeah. to to read from the wiki, um, you can create like a sensory effect. Um, you can light or snuff out a candle. You can clean or soil an object of, of one cubic foot. You can chill, warm, or flavor uh, one foot of non-living material for an hour. You can color a small mark uh, or a symbol to appear on a surface for one hour. Or yeah, you can okay, make a, non, a, a trinket. Yeah, that's that's right. what I had in mind, but that doesn't. Yeah, that sounds like something small rather than a whole outfit. So I I, I do have disguise self, but that's only going to cover me. So. Uh, I'm not going to bother. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, if we're, think, if we're thinking about being... Help. Oh. Yeah, Sorry, I mean, I'm, look, yeah, to on, answer I... the question that you haven't asked yet, yeah, I'm kind of worried that we're a little bit uh, uh, easy to spot, especially as there is, like, nowhere to hide. Yeah. Uh, well, I think, I think there's two options. We either go as fast as possible... Yes. Or we go slowly and stealthily. Um, I've got two things that can help us with this. Cool. Do, do go on, Mr. Ranger. So, initially, you see, Tarathiel says, I'll do what I did before, but there's also something else that can certainly help us. And Tarathiel just kneels down and he mutters, casts a little hand movement, just says, let us not be seen. And he casts past without a trace. That's Good. initially. Okay. I love that. Um, the other thing is, as uh, find it, the wording of it. Come on, mouse, scroll, scroll, scroll. Um, so. Okay, no, that is only in favoured terrain. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, in if we are in one of my favoured terrain, then. Um, my allies and I are not slow but difficult terrain and uh, can move stealthily at normal pace, but that is only oh, in favourite cool. terrain. Okay. Mm. So if we find a forest or mountains, we'd be okay. <laughs> okay. But we have passed without trace. Yes. Which gives okay. us a plus 10 to any stealth check. Still, yeah. I would think we should probably just move fairly fast and not hang around. Yeah, I think so. Then let's go. So you set off. the The ground here is reasonably um, packed. It is, you know, your feet aren't slipping and sliding along the sand. It is like dried, cracked earth, but we've covered with um, we have a reasonably th thick layer of sand. <clears throat> As you make your way towards the sandstone cliffs, you can see up ahead. It suddenly realize that they're actually possibly a bit further away than you initially thought. The kind of optical illusion of the flat plains out here making it mm. seem closer than it was. As you go further and further, the air around you is eerily quiet and eerily still. 
and uh, the ground becomes uh, begins to actually become sand dunes rather than the flat barren landscape uh, meaning that you can no longer see it directly over the one in front of you uh, climbing up a sand dune becomes slightly more possible and then you end up sliding down the other side and before you know it looking back you can no longer see the place that uh, you emerged from the little out outcropping of rock on the barren plain so from here I would like someone to roll me a d6 please Ooh. one person one person please shut up I shall I I have it yeah, go for it go on you do it Right. It's a, th a three, yes. It's a three. Okay. So, you continue on. It's difficult to really gauge time here because you can't see the sun. Um, the light doesn't really seem to change a great deal, um, which makes it very, very difficult to really tell how long you've been here for. Because uh, none of you have um, keen mind. Keen mind. No. No. So yeah, so you spend an indeterminate amount of time climbing dunes, dropping again. Sometimes the dune is so high that when you go down the other side, you can't see the sandstone cliffs that you're heading towards anymore. Until you crest one, and the cliffs aren't in front of you anymore. They're actually off to the side. The fuck, man! Oh, fuck's sake! Looking back, your your footprints are still straight because you know, despite obviously passing out a trace, it keeps you, it gives you a good stealth check, but you you still leave footprints behind. It's not no, like you, you have a, do you not? <laughs> no. Oh. Well, in that case, it makes it even harder to realise where you are. Clues in the name. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that being the case, yeah, that is. Uh... I should probably look up these things before I start talking. Um. A creature that receives this bonus leaves behind no tracks or other traces of its passage. Okay. Up for, an, up, for up to an hour. Yeah. So it may have run out by that point, but again, not knowing the time, it may have mm. run out. We don't know. It could okay. be. Uh, I'm not going to try and save myself by saying it's been an hour. Uh, no, no, no. Right. So you look back, and yes, there are. You, you see you see no tracks. Um, so you must have gotten turned around just a little as you went down one dune and came up another so just you know just try to keep your bearings a bit better next time so yes we'll say that we'll say now that an hour has passed as you crest the dune and go back down the other side can I have another d6 roll please I'll do this one yeah go for it uh, it's a five Ooh. five okay So, the sandstone stiffs. S sandstone stiffs. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> sorry, it's a, it's a Freudian blowjob. No, no, it slip. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Keeping the sandstone cliffs, darling, um, in sight now. You know, you've, you've got your bearings now. It's fine. You can, you're looking behind you now. You can see your footprints. They are going in a straight line. You're definitely. <laughs> Definitely on the right track now. It's all fine. It's good. You crest the dune. Oh. Sorry. What? The the. I don't know. Audio about just other glitched people. for a yeah, second. Yeah, audio glitched. It's okay. On no. It's all right now. The the music and you, but it should be cut. It's it's fine now. Sorry. It might be because I've. Uh, but maybe if maybe if I stop looking at the stream, it might help. <laughs> maybe don't worry I'm monitoring the stream it's all good okay okay so, yes so you you have the you have the sandstone cliffs a little bit closer now off to one side off to the the left you see a, is that a, a glimmer almost uh almost almost as if light reflecting off some sort of surface as the lightning, as the lightning flashes in the distance, possibly illuminating some sort of shape off to the side. And this looks like something moving or something that's static. Static. 
Uh, yeah, and this is not in the direction that we're supposed to be heading, right? No. Uh, I think just keep moving in the direction we're supposed to be moving in. I, th I think getting distracted will get us dead. <laughs> yeah, unless this is... I, I mean, we we can't identify what it is at this, uh, it's, this range. It's just something, something that caught your eye. Okay, it's not in okay, the cliffs. Yeah. No, no, no. The, the cliffs are, um, let's say, north for you. You know, a, yeah. a true north. You, you, you're, you're keeping them to your north. This would be off to the east. Okay. Then I would say we carry on to our target, but I would keep a constant eye on this, just to see if it's getting, if it's moving at all, if it's getting closer. If at any point it becomes uh, identifiable, but um, other than just keeping an eye on it I would suggest we carry on what sort of rough distance would this look um it's far enough away that you can only get it's you, you're only you can only really see it when a lightning bolt hits off in off in the horizon right and it's like light reflecting off a surface okay then we carry on <clears throat> um yeah let's keep going as, as we are going though um I'm going to kind of re reach within and try to grasp that little shred of connection. Um, and I'm just going to, uh, in my mind, reach out to the Raven Queen and say, "We are coming. If you, if there's any way you can guide us toward you, please. We need help." And I will just carry. I don't have any. Any spells or anything to cast or or anything like that. I'm just uh, I'm just hoping that she hears me. Okay. <coughs> send your send your thoughts off into the into yeah, the thoughts ether. and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Hashtag thoughts and prayers. <laughs> yeah. You send your thoughts off into the ether. D nothing. Nothing comes back. Particularly. Okay. Okay. So, carrying on. Can I get another dice roll, please? Go on, Nate. Sure, I'll take it. D6. Yep. Another, Another five. five. Okay. Carrying forward. Carrying on forward. The dunes appear to be flattening out a bit now. The, the height of them is now behind you and looking back uh, you, you realise quite how big they are it's surprising that you're able to scale them quite <coughs> as easily as you have them without with very little you know not a great deal of effort and sliding down them has not been particularly difficult but they, they are roughly the size of probably small cliffs but you know angled as such so it's not, not much of a problem mm. the the glimmer that you saw off to the east is now off to the southeast. It appears to be a tiny bit closer than it was before. Uh oh. I'm now watching that intently. If I I, if we've noticed it come closer, I am entirely focused on whatever that thing is. I'd like to stop for just a few seconds and roll a perception to see if I can make out what it might be. Okay. Oh, great. That's a 10. <laughs> I mean, you you are aware of it. So, okay. yeah, it's, it's not like you can't see it. However, it's, 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 it's still distant enough so that you can only really make it out when it has a light source that makes it that clear it. that it's there. Yeah, okay. Um, it's still dark out here, and I don't believe you have night vision, do you? Um, excuse me. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, no, I do not. No. The only one of us that has dark vision is. Uh, uh, I can only see 120 right. feet. It's yeah. further than that. I assume. Yeah, it's yeah, much yeah, yeah. Than that. Yeah, no, it's it is a it's got it's got, a, it's got I, a lot of distance. Can I still have a look myself just to see if I can? Of course. Uh, little goosey gander. Any idea what this is? 
Oh, wow. Oh, fuck, no. My hair's in my eyes again. Um, <laughs> it's difficult looking through your, the hair that's draped over your face all the whole time. Um, I'll just say to the group, um, I think we've all noticed it's getting it's slightly closer. Oh, no, sorry, I have a question before I ask this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Can I judge roughly from where we've started to where we're going? I, I mean, are we halfway there? Are we a fraction the of the way there? Sandstone cliffs now are quite, I don't want to say quite close, um, but they are definitely looming larger on the horizon than they did before. Uh, it's difficult to see how far you've come, because looking back, you can just see the, the, the last sand dune that you traversed. Yeah. But the uh, the ground now appears to be flattening out a bit and become is now becoming a bit more like the hard packed earth or sand mm-hmm. that uh, you first stepped out upon. Okay, as I, I think we've all just kind of stopped and are glancing back at this thing, um, I'll just look at the group and say, um, I could double our pace for a bit if you think it's worth it. Uh. Uh, how know. much? How much of your magic was that take? Uh, uh, all of it, but I mean, <laughs> I just I, short I, rest. When we, if we have a little a break, a short rest once we get there, then I'll be fine again. That is entirely down to you, then. All right, let's just keep moving, and if we think this thing's getting too close, I can always, I can always uh, whiz us there a little bit faster. That sounds good. I will keep an eye on it, but let's keep moving. Okay, I mean, uh, can we? I, I assume we should be like a hustle now, more than just a walk, mm-hmm. like a light jogging pace. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I can run 120 feet in six seconds, so I don't know what you like doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, technically, we don't get out of breath. That's true. No, oh, don't. Yeah. There is that. <laughs> <laughs> but do you get lactic acid buildup? Uh, there is that. That's a question. Maybe. We might be getting too far into the realism. <laughs> <laughs> Just we don't need to eat. Surely there's ah. no need to have a stomach, so there's no lactic acid. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's at this point all of you realise that um, being uh, an undead uh, construct is actually completely impossible, and you all, all drop to the ground. The end. Yeah. Thanks very much, everybody. <laughs> Uh, oh, TPK through logic. Yep. That's yeah. Oh, terrible. That, terrible. That logic. Oh, I guess I better get my campaign up and running <laughs> <laughs> for next week. Logic has no place here. <laughs> okay. Right. So yeah, picking up your pace. Uh, can I get a final dice roll, please? If you get a five, re-roll it. This will be mine. Three. Uh, we already already had the three. Oh, do you want uh, to do it again? Yep, yeah, re-roll again, please. We need a different number. Two. Okay. Okay. Not as bad as it could have been. All right then. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay. I don't like it. <laughs> so, as you are making your making your way, you all of you give me perception checks, please. I perception check. Uh, okay, that is a fifteen. Fucking hell. Seventeen. It's an eight for me. Mm-hmm. It's the hair. I got it. It's hair. Eighteen. I need, I need a scrunchie or something. It's the hair, man. It's the hair. <laughs> okay, so everyone apart from Grey <laughs> will notice uh, off to the. Uh, West now. <laughs> what appears to be, for all the world, possibly some sort of caravan. Not not a, um, you know, a single vehicle, but procession of <clears throat> creatures. Off to the west, the opposite the way. West. The opposite, the opposite side to the uh, the to the glimmer. Um, the, the the sandstone cliffs are still to the north now. They are still close. They're uh, getting closer, but possibly running a bit more perpen- perpendicular. Is that the right word? Um, mm-hmm. 
As, you know, they, they, this, if, as you notice them and you watch, they appear to be heading away from you at a diagonal. Oh, okay. Um, away from us. Yes. Okay. For Tyrell and uh, Ficht having a slightly higher uh, perception. They're definitely humanoid. <clears throat> They're walking on two legs at the very least. But in this dim light, it's it's very difficult to make out exactly what they are, but the shape is odd. Oh, it, odd. Mm, it appears to... It appears to be a human-ish, a humanoid shape. You know, two legs, there's a body, there's arms. But at the, at the head, it's almost like a... Almost like a shark's fin. Ooh. Extruding nope. from the back of the head and stretching down the back. It's probably a couple of dozen of them. Yeah, no. Nope. I would <laughs> look at Taral, seeing that he's noticed them. Um, as I presume we're both closer to the back of each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. You seeing this, right? I see it. I think I can smell them too. Uh, I, I think we we best not tangle with these. There's far far too many of them. What's that? You seen something? <laughs> Off. <laughs> Sorry. You need to sort that hair out, Grey. Um, I got it west. for you. Off to the west, the opposite side where we've seen the other glimmer. There's a caravan trail, and maybe, maybe three dozen out of humanoid creatures. I'm not, I can't quite make out what they are. That's something we need to stay away. from. Quite a large group, at least. Some things that we want to uh, avoid, like the plague. <coughs> I mean, probably. <clears throat> yeah, I, mean, I think we're, said, we're we we we're here to do other things. We have yes, we have a, an objective, and we need to achieve that pretty fucking quickly. Get to that mountain range and uh, at least it will give us some cover against the eye yeah yeah if we if we cross their tracks at least we can look to see where they came from just in case there's any more but we have a uh, we have an objective Get in, meet the Raven Queen, and get out. And you'll also notice a little shudder when he says, meet the Raven Queen. It's a... Not a happy boy. (laughs) Okay. So, you traverse on. Picking up your pace, keeping an eye on the, uh, the wanderers off to the side. I'm going to split my attention for any stragglers that are that we might be running into or anything that's uh, that's following them along where they've come from. Uh, if you if you are keeping an eye on them and you're watching, then you will see that just as they you know begin to disappear off, you notice that a large flying creature appears to be keeping pace with them it Mm. drops out of the clouds and swoops down over the caravan before swooping back up and into the cloud level again oh Oh, shit fuck that keep going keep going run run away (laughs) okay so as you as you (laughs) progress the cliffs are now much much closer Begin to see, you know, black twisted uh, trees. Almost clearly, they're almost fossilized in the the, the dry heat. 
And as you approach, you begin to feel a, a sudden strong wind coming from behind you and pushing you forwards. And uh, looking back the way you came, the sky is now even darker behind you than it was mm. before. And as the wind picks <clears throat> up, you begin to feel the little little stings on your face as little flecks of sand are hit, striking you here, there. You know, one or two at first before they begin to pick up speed and frequency. The, oh, my hood. the horizon is beginning to darken uh, into what appears to be some sort of sandstorm. <coughs> Alright. Can we find some shelter soon? Because that looks... Uh fucked yeah does it look like we're going to make it in time well looking back uh, towards um, where you're heading you can now see the actual bottom of the cliffs you're heading towards and there does appear to be an opening in the top or in the in the in the um, yeah, cliff line that you're, you're heading towards okay do it Oh, uh, no. Slow and stealthy is out the window. Uh, let's uh, let's run. Run. Yeah, the, the, Anybody? O- everybody okay with running? Yeah, let's I'm go. Running. Let's go. You run. Yeah. Cliffs begin to rise up. Um, on you are now uh, almost entering a canyon. Um, and here and there you start to see uh traces of what may may have once been civilization. Uh, the, the kind of the shells of buildings that have uh, begun to be buried in the uh, in the sand, and the sand itself now is becoming is actually becoming more sand coloured. It's almost like you're stepping out of one biome into a different one. Does it look familiar to us at all? Like, does um, this look like where we came at all? Rune and Grey, I would ask for an intelligence check. Okay. Because this doesn't sound like... I don't think this place was anywhere near civilization. Uh, straight intelligence. Yes. Okay. This is a, a memory check, essentially. Uh, eight. So 16 for me. 16, okay. So, Grey. Um, In fact... Oh, no, I can't do this. Okay, go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grey, so, looking around you, this is nothing like the um, almost coastal path that you took previously. Mm. Uh, previously, you, you, made, you made dock in a smuggler's cove. Uh, you followed the, um, the cliff edge, essentially, um, up into the, um, the moors before heading a bit more inland to find the mountain that you gained access to the um, Cape of Lights to. However, looking at, looking at the canyons as they rise around you, it, it, there is a feeling of familiarity. The colour isn't right, but the shape is similar to the granite cliffs that you saw previously, but now appear to be sandstone. Hmm. So, uh, do I think we're completely off the mark here, or are we just possibly uh, approaching from a different side? Is that seem feasible to me it's possible the shape of the cliffs is the same but the material is not oh, it's just, oh, okay I'll say something to the group something's off yeah there's some sort of fuckery going on it seems familiar and at the same time something's Completely not yeah in Many, many years have passed since you would have been last year, but yeah, rock but I not change from one rock to another. No, exactly. This is uh, something different. Except off. when a god breaks the reality of the fabric of reality and comes back and fucks things. Also true. Either way, let's just keep moving. Let's just just find shelter, and we can. This is all happening while I'm sprinting. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming we're, yeah. we are moving. Yeah. <laughs> as as you are as you are moving towards your goal, you can see the um, the a door a, a cave like doorway um, at the at the base of a cliff, and what appears to be spilling out of it is a black sand mixing with the uh, lighter 
sand of the dunes that you are running across. And as you approach... Inside is better than out. Oh no. Uh oh. I would like you to make your way towards the cave, please. Sure. Using your regular movement. <laughs> I can make that in one round. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gray. Slowly. Stop, please. <laughs> Gray, can you give me a dexterity check, please? Or oh, sorry, a dexterity save. A saving throw. Dexterity save, yes. Oh dear. No, nope, I can't. I guess. Five. It's a five, yeah. All right. You take 22 shit. points of bludgeoning damage. Fuck! Holy oh, shit! As, as the roots of the tree, as you approach it, spring out of the ground, wrap themselves around you, and drag you towards the base of the tree. And with that, I would like everyone to roll initiative, please. Ah! <laughs> well, fuck me running. All right. I can't, why can't I select? Ooh. Uh, Do we have a combat ah, there tracker? There we go. Hold on. That. Uh, who are you? Rune. There we go. Oh, I got it. Okay. Oh, 18. A 22 for the row. Yeah. 16 is not low, but fuck, I'm the lowest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all rolled really well for this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, Grey, you are grappled. Sorry, what? Grey, you are grappled. Am I the only one whose audio has gone really squirrely? No, uh, yes. yes. Yeah, I think mine's okay. It's good. Um, okay. Yeah, you're coming through fine to us, I think. Yeah. Okay, mine has gone really bad. Oh, that's weird. I'm just going to drop out and come back, okay? Okay, okay. for it. Hey. not here same main things okay. <laughs> um i don't have oh, that too capacity <laughs> <laughs> you, sure you, you, missed do. Your, you missed your chance nate that's ah, all right i'll say them when he's there <laughs> um any better no <laughs> are we all on helium Kind no, of, that, that, it's kind of bubbly. It's really, really bubbly, and it's it's all my it's all the sounds of my system. It's not just Discord. That sounds like it's uh, an internet issue. Has someone turned on turned on the light switch on the landing again? It's possible, but no, I've never had this before. It's very I'd, strange. I'll plug your headphones and plug them back in. If it's everything, it shouldn't be just this. Um, Try and fix the, just, the main room of the problem. Let me just test something. I'm gonna switch to my speakers. And just see if that's uh, working. If it's a sound card issue or a headphone issue. Oh, who hears from out of town? <laughs> 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 Fucking demon trees are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think it's a headphone issue. I'm just going to grab my other headphones from the other room. Okay. okay. All right. Thank Sorry, you. I, it's it's really, really bad. That's right. Shut up. It's, it's all good. Right, you can kill him now. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Quick, run, save yourselves. I'm in league with the trees. I stab him. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I would have expected to be the ranger. <laughs> <laughs> um... So, what is it? Gray's turn or Gray's ability to make a save? Uh, no, it is fixed. Uh, fixed turn. Fixed. 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 Yes. Lock. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Uh, so, do I see that this tree has lashed out against my friend? Um, yes. I mean, the the runes that are next to you are basically just like bricks on the ground. So, yeah, you can you can looking over, you can see that he has um, been dragged so he's across like the ground. Knee high rather than uh, a tower. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Okay. Ch- chest high walls for the win. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> I will <laughs> while I'm running then. Okay. Uh, see that Gray is in some in some issues, and I will cut off to the left. Three. Uh, I will try and slash at the tree. Uh, the things that are holding uh, things that are holding grey okay I am back uh, hello there hi do we, do we sound better yes wonderful okay. how weird yes very weird how oh, very rare how very going rare going to attempt to save you please save me save me 19 hits okay yep yeah, 19 hits um, and I technically have an ally within five feet, so sneak attack on a tree. <laughs> sure, twenty-one extra piercing damage on nice. top of the Ow. nine from the short sword. So thirty in total. Thirty damage in total, and just slash at the the branches that have tried to ensnare him. Uh, roots. These are roots. Um, oh, it's the root, oh, of course. Yeah. It's, so it's the there ro- on the page. Yep. So the roots have uh, basically um, sprung up out of the sand, uh, wrapped themselves around Grey, and dragged him to basically to the trunk. <laughs> um, and as you're both up against the trunk now, you can see the wood itself is... You know, it, 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 is it looks like it's almost turned to stone in this you know, harsh environment. But in the actual... Uh, in the bark, in... in mixed in with the actual um, with the wood itself it appears to be faces almost um, the, 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 the mouths wide open and as the branch as, as the, the tree begins to twist of its own accord it almost looks like the mouths are opening and closing in torment uh, has the strike helped at all uh, uh, it with, will, it will, with it releasing has, him it has helped and it will assist him when he, when he comes to make his um, strength check shortly Excellent. Uh, I will run past, slash at it as I'm going. It's like quickly. Yeah, this this is not somewhere to stop. Uh, and I will continue running. Uh, Twenty. All right. Uh, back, please. Five. Back. Come where? Back, come back there. Can you make give me a dexterity saving throw, please? Uh, I can. Is this an opportunity attack thing or? Mm, it's a saving throw yeah that's fair it's not really an opportunity attack I was going to say if it's an attack you cannot do it because (laughs) fuck you unless your trees have sentinel then shit (laughs) I hadn't considered that but let me think about that (laughs) sentinel trees sentinel trees oh (laughs) my god Uh, a saving throw dexterity Uh, 17 okay yeah so as you as as your feet hit the sand you you sense rather than feel the the um, sand beginning to you know, split open as the uh, roots from the other tree that you have just run past begin to try and grasp you but being fleet of foot you manage to keep your feet out of the way so you oh, can yeah. carry on carry on as you were uh all right then i shall leap and dance out the way and carry on running and end up there as my full movement. Uh, do I have any bonus actions that I can do? Um, not really, unless I want to hide. Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. In that case, Rune. It's me, Arun. Uh, you. I am going to move up to uh, where is my Trazayam Trazayam oh shit there um, and shit. Grey is still uh, entangled yeah uh-huh. and I've just realised I'm a fucking idiot and I need to actually put these things on the turn order <sighs> that might help apologies <laughs> it's alright oh oh wow Oh well, it's, uh, it's, it's just after you anyway. Okay, good. Um, I have a higher deck. <laughs> you hope. Oh, have a look. You I hope. hope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and I have... Okay. Alright, so... Uh, not fucking around. I'm going to take my war scythe because I have a ten foot reach. <laughs> and I'm this might come to, in handy. I'm wow. going to... Um, smack the... I, I'm going to try and slice through the things that are grabbing him. Okay. You just see the look of horror on Gray's face as you raise the <laughs> Twelve. Aiming in his general direction. Uh, Twelve does not hit, I'm afraid. Okay, my second attack. Fuck's sake, fourteen to hit. Also doesn't hit, I'm afraid. And oh. as a bonus oh, action, no, oh, I, can... I, I, I would say, you know, you you feel you feel your blade connect with the uh, roots beneath the sand, but it mm. it catches rather than slices through. Okay. Uh, and bonus action uh, attack again. Okay. Uh, with a twenty-two to hit this time. Twenty-two does uh, indeed does hit. And then uh, slashing yes. damage. Okay. So as you are aiming specifically for the ones that have been left um, after Fick went through, um, I will say that you are now disentangled, Gray. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was my action and bonus action. And I have no movement left, so that's me done. Okay. Great. Yes, I, I do have a bonus action attack with uh, Polearm Master. Ah, I see. We're, 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 tre- we're treating the side as a polearm, basically. Yeah. That's fair. I like it. That's cool. Um, so I'm now free, you said? Uh, yes, but you are still okay. next to it, so if you, if you move away, you will invoke an attack opportunity. Yeah, fuck that. Um, I'm gonna, just going to say to to Rune though, like, just keep moving. I can take care of this myself, <laughs> um, and I will. Um... Oh yeah, fuck the attack of opportunity. I'm t- I'm going to try and run to where Fict is. Okay. So I literally just run through, and I, I I want to get to here. So okay, so let me just work this out one second. So what whatever would happen on the way? Uh, it's uh, so basically as you as you uh, begin to leave its uh, area, uh, one of the branches uh, comes down on you, attempting attempting to slam you into the ground. Uh, does a nineteen oh. hit? Oh, no, that's not right. I'm looking. I, 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 there's a 26 hit, sorry. 26? Let me check. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Uh, right. Uh, so, yeah, that is uh, 20 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Does it... Uh, it doesn't entangle me, though. No, no, it basically it twats you across the back and of the shoulders. <laughs> as I'm running, and... I guess I uh, I stumble forward, uh, but maintain my momentum if I can, and end up skidding to a stop next to to Fict. Yes. Uh, anything else? No, no. If I can get there, I'm fine. Okay. I'll right. stop there. Okay. Harald. Uh, it would be the seventeen initiative order for me the one below me in the turn yeah. order I thought you were and 17 as well for some reason uh, okay. so which one was this this is this one so this one is going to see if it can get its uh, demonic roots back where's the dice there it is. I don't want it to <laughs> can I will it to not you can you can, <laughs> you can certainly try uh... it does not Okay, however, uh, you are within its range, runes, so it is going to take a swipe at you. At me? Okay. Yep. The 12 hit. 12 does not hit. And that's a natural one as well, so yes, never mind. So yeah, so uh, having sliced through its roots, the tree, having already smacked um, Grey um, across the back of the head as he, as, he, as he fled, another branch comes down at you, Rune. Um, not as much force as this one. There's not The branch isn't quite as thick as the one which hit uh, Grey, and it glances off of your armour. Okie dokie. Cool. Right, now it's around. Okay. 
Um, the sort of stone column here, mm -hmm. how high is that? Uh, roughly chest ground. height. Uh, I would like to skip up onto it, mm -hmm. if you will allow me. And from there, drawing my longbow and a, and a flutch and arrow, I will fire upon the demon tree. Mm, okay. Uh, That will be Ooh, a natural, natural 20. 20. <laughs> Look at that. So that nice. is 18 damage, but because Ooh. of my piercer feet, I'm allowed to add an extra D8. Oh, wow. Sweet. Okay. Uh, so that would be 8 plus whatever this is. So it would be, yes. So 8 plus 5 is 13, plus 15, 28 damage. Plus nice. a crit. Plus. So that's crit. Is, I've got it on there. 15 is my damage. Oh, because yeah. it's... No, so it's just added on to... So the 5 just... is added on to the crit. So 15 plus 8 is 23, plus the extra dice roll is far, plus 5, so 28 total. 28. Damn. Yeah, pretty uh, good. What a shot. And <laughs> I will take nice. my second. Okay. For a 17 to hit. That hits. 12 pierce of damage. 12. Excellent. So, yeah, two two blistering arrows. Um, they, 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 they hit with such force they almost appear to uh, sprout out of the tree itself. Um, <laughs> a, a black, gooey sap icor begins to flow from the, uh, from the trunk of the tree. Anything um, else? And... That will end. Uh, that will end my turn. Okay. Right so, so this one's turn. It's not currently <laughs> doing anything, but it did. Uh... Nate, a question: Hello, If a uh, action requires a recharge, yes. Um, does it require to be recharged if it attempted to use it but it didn't hit? Yes. Okay. For example, if a dragon uses its dragon breath and doesn't hit anything, it still has to try still and recharge to, that breath. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's see if this gets it back. It does not. Okay, that is its turn. Oh, Ficked. No. Alright. <laughs> uh, I will look at Grey. Say, is that other tree tried to hit me too? Be careful. Uh, and I will cut through here. So there, that's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 30. Can I look into the cave entrance to see if I can see anything? Uh, so the sand here, um, as it as the, the edges <laughs> begin to you know, mingle with uh, the black sand that appears to almost be flowing out of the cave entrance. Um, inside... The rock itself appears to change from black sandstone to, sorry, from uh, yellow sandstone to a, a more, a, a darker volcanic black rock. You can't see a great uh, distance inside, though. Okay. Uh, I will <coughs> flatten myself against this rock. Uh, and prepare my short sword. Uh, I will. I will bonus action hide. All right. Uh, hidden. Which requires a stealth roll. Uh, eighteen. I don't get advantage because I moved more than half my speed. So, not uh, a great deal of um, there's not a great deal of hiding places here up against the you know cliff. However, you do attempt to angle yourself so that if you can't see the trees, then they probably can't see you. That's what I'm hoping. If they can uh, indeed see at all. And I've got my I've got my sword readied at my side uh, for anything that comes within my range. Uh, any enemies that come within my range as um, as a held action. <clears throat> okay. And that's me. Okay. Rune. Rune runs, and he <laughs> runs um, 
first. He's going to attempt to run up to here. Okay, that'll be an attack of opportunity. Yep. Does not hit. 22? What? Oh, shit. I was looking at the thing above. Yeah, no, that does hit. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, a 22 doesn't hit. Uh, I saw, <laughs> uh, saw Ficht, Ficht's roll. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so, so uh, you, t you take 17 bludgeoning damage. Um, uh, as you as you, you 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 duck down, um, you know, feeling emboldened by the fact that it, it, ma it managed to hit you previously and it didn't have much effect, you duck down beneath a branch. And as you you know feel that you've gotten clear of it, you feel a mighty thwack across your back of your shoulders and you stagger forward. Yeah, fine. Uh, and I will use dash. Ooh, ah. Let me just. to get me yeah so my dash is going to get me to here okay yes so yeah looking around you can't you can't see anyone else here but you know you know you know that Fict went this way but mm, you can't quite see him <laughs> okay that's fine um i believe that ends my turn yes okay. uh, yeah gray would climbing onto this rock be part of my movement, or would it take an action? Uh, so this particular rock is, is, is not the... It is probably your height and then half again. So that so would take an action. It would, uh, it would take an action to climb, and probably take half your movement. Uh, uh, sorry, I've just looked at my bonus actions. Can I, it doesn't say I can dash, but I can, right? Um, as a bonus yeah, action. As an action. Oh, as no, an action, yeah. you can. Yeah, but you, you didn't do anything else anyway, so you can still use your action. Can't forget, can't you? Oh, it's an action. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. As, it's a bonus action as a rogue. I used it right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, um, cool. It, a dash is an action for every other class. Cool. I'm actually going to stay where I am. Okay. Looking back at Taral, I. Ah! I'm trying to judge what Taral's action is going to be. Huh. Make it easy. Because either I aid him in trying to destroy the tree, or I prepare an action. But that's useless. And if he's going to stay and destroy the tree, fuck it. From where I am, I'm going to um, Eldritch Blast the tree. Woohoo! <clears throat> nice. <laughs> oh yeah. One. One, 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 one. <laughs> you get two beams at this level, yeah. don't you? I believe so. I do. So the first one is a 22. <laughs> that hits. Nice. Fuck, Congrats. Wow. You hit things. <laughs> I mean, it was. A, it's a static object, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've messed those before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, nice. Uh, oh. Yeah. So that's uh, two lots of nine damage, so 18 in total. Uh, I'm not going to move. I'm actually just going to stand and wait um, okay. for Tyrell. So as you spread your hands and you, the beams of light fly from them and stri <laughs> strike the trunk of the tree, when you were using your Eldritch Blast previously in the, uh, in the Underdark uh, escape, the power felt different. It felt cold uh, compared to the warmth of uh, Shellin previously. Uh, doing it again now, it, it feels different again. This time, though, it feels stronger, more more focused. You feel there might be maybe maybe why you're able to strike the tree, whereas previously you've not had a great deal of luck with your Eldritch Blast. Hmm. Not bad. Okay. Uh, so let's see if this thing. Okay, Terrell. Um. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, as a Terrell's still thinking about his shadow, and as a bonus action, I would like to try and summon my companion. Okay. <laughs> you reach out again, as you have done. I, I imagine quite a few times in the past couple of days. Mm -hmm. 
He still d- does not appear. But the presence that you have felt previously, the presence of feeling your friend through this bond that you share and, it, and it, his vague awareness of you, you're now feeling that he is definitely aware of you. Something is different here. He feels closer than before, but still not quite with you. Okay. Uh, it just... Terrell just slams his fist on the rock and he will, uh, if I can pick the right pointer, jump off and mid-air fire a shot <laughs> at this tree in frustration. That tree! That'll be a 24 to hit. And definitely hits. Nice. Eight, but I'm going to re-roll that with my piercer feet. Ooh. So I will re-roll that one. That'll be a six instead, so that will be six, uh, seven, plus six is 13 damage. Nice. 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 Um, pick still up. Still, it's looking, it's looking as haggard as a tree can. Um, it is definitely <laughs> leaking now from a lot more places than it was previously. Uh, a few of its branches are <clears throat> drooping, but it is definitely Take still... another step forward. I take second shot. A 29 Ooh. to hit. Just about. Yeah. Nine piercing Fucking damage. Dangerous. Okay. Another nine piercing. Yep. Excellent. And at this point, I'm kind of like, I, it's in his head. He's thinking, I, I don't want to run past it, but he, it, he looks to Grey, but beyond the tree and his eyes dart the other way and he runs this way. And that will end. That will end my turn. Okay. It's now this tree's turn, which is a not sentence you normally think you're going to be saying at any given day. <laughs> now for the tree. <clears throat> oh. Oh, well, that's a six. Okay, Taral, can you give me a dexterity saving throw, please? Yeah. Drinks it. But... That is a oh, fucking hell. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, nice. so... That's a pretty in, great one. Even in your rage, as you stomp off away from the tree that you were battling, you you sense the ground beneath you shifting, and as you step out of the way, the roots from the uh, tree nearby burst out of the ground. And looking at them up close now, you can see that they, they have almost small octopus-like suckers on them. Uh, kind of like as they try and reach for you but luckily you're able to just jump out of the way what's actually really interesting is I would have actually had advantage on that anyway because it's a plant form trying to do something to me as part of my feet, huh. as part of a uh, ranger thing alright no need to yeah, no need to, no need to show off is there I got the highest I mean you've score. already got a 28 so. yeah. what, what, what do you want <laughs> What's that natural twilight? Well, well. <laughs> okay. That's a tree stand. Picked. Okay. Uh, I am going to. Uh, what do I want to do? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say to Rune from the shadows. Hurry, into the cave. I will follow. <laughs> uh, and I will... Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll drop the cloak off my face oh. and just give you a wink. Oh, okay. uh, and I will prepare a dash action to follow... Um, to follow Ruin into the cave. Uh, if he does not go into the cave, I'm staying where I am. Okay. Uh, so that's cool. me. I'm just holding the dash action. Okay. So yeah. So as all this has been happening, and you know, in, in, it's only been technically it's only been seconds. Uh, you know, going by how combat works in the indie, but the wind has picked up quite significantly now. The uh, sand is being thrown around. It's becoming 
visibility is starting to become a bit of an issue. With that, it is your turn, Ray. A rune. It is my turn. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh, hmm. I really want to. What I'll do is I will get inside the cave mouth, but I will keep. I will stop just inside. You won't be able to see it, but I'll stop just inside and because uh, mm -hmm. I've got a line of sight basically from the cave door because it's snapping to grid. Uh, I've got a line of sight on both these two. I'm just yep. going to keep keep my eyes on them both in case I need help. But I'm uh, I'm just going to stand ready inside the cave. Okay. Now my health in. action will go off and I will slip in right next to him. Who are? Mm, Starting into his DMs. I'll be um, looking into the cave rather than out of it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so Rune, standing here in this cave, the sense of deja vu is strong. Oh, and that's it's not, ne not necessarily the look of the place, but mm. but the, the smell. The, oh, okay. the, smell and, the smell and the feel. Previously, the desert, even when you got to the cleaner sands um, just outside, smelled dry. Mm. Uh, almost with a, an under, undertone of spice, maybe. Now, it is a cold mineral smell. Yeah. One very similar to, the, to one that you experienced the last time you were here. Yeah. Okay. All right. That is your turn? Yeah, uh, I believe so, yeah. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going... Hmm. Can I hold an action? Not really. I don't have anything I can cast. I don't think. No. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not going to hold anything. Okay. Yeah. Gray. I'm going to move. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And I'm going to wait here. Okay. No Can I still ready an action? Yes. If if Terrell, while making his way to the cave mouth, is grappled by a tree, I would like to cast a spell on that tree. Okay. What spell are you preparing? Do I have to say now? Yes. It's if it's a spell slot, or if it's something different to the specific no, it, thing that you want to do it then I I have a specific spell in mind yes yes but you would have to you would have to state exactly what the trigger is and exactly what the action is yeah if 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 I see a if a tree successfully grapples to Ral I'm going to blight it Ooh. Mm -hmm. holding a spell means that you basically cast it but you hold releasing it, so it uses the spell slot whether you cast, whether you finish the cast or not. Is that the case? It is. That's the 5e e ruling of holding a spell as an action. Mm. <laughs> I apologize for rules lawyering you. No, 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 no that's, 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 you're allowed. <laughs> yeah, okay. we, we, we kind of rely on you for that. <laughs> I'm not a spellcaster anymore. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Oh, uh, it's nice not to have to deal with spell components and spell slots and all the squishiness of being a wizard. Uh, don't worry, it's okay. You don't need to save it. Then I, I won't do it then. I'm good, okay. I'm nimble. You, you could hold your action for a, for a cantrip and it wouldn't use a spell slot I'm for like, you. No, no, it's... it's no. That's, that's the only thing I would cast. Don't worry, he's young, he'll heal. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead, don't worry. Yeah, it was, the, the worst has already happened. Okay. Uh, so... Was that your turn, Grey? Yep. I'm, yeah, right. I'm still going to wait for him. Okay. So let's see. Although, if, if I'm wait, if I'm not doing anything else and I'm not ready in the action, I, I, I can at least move to here with okay. a double uh, double move. That's great. Okay. Uh, right. So let's see if the tree gets its thing back. Does Stella get a groove back? She does not. Okay. Terrell. 
Okay, so stepping over the roots that have just tried to grapple him, mm-hmm. he looks at it and looks away, sees his companions ahead of him. One, two, three, four, five, six, double dash into the cave at full tilt. Uh, <laughs> I am gonna I am gonna send you <laughs> I'm gonna send you a motherfucking screenshot. <laughs> 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 if we can Discord. Are you getting this or just. It's in Discord. For everyone. Yeah. It is now. Oh! You literally <laughs> stepped around. I played it tactically. <laughs> Step through the reach. <laughs> Having gone through the one on the left uh, route and knowing that. It could reach me there. I kind of figured if I went, I stayed in its range and went one up, I was good. So. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> cool. So yes, Toral sprints past you, Gray, into the cave behind you. If I'm free to now take my yeah. turn, I'm dropping out. I'm just going to l- lower the hand I had ready to cast and uh, almost with a look of disappointment on my face I will follow my companions into the cave because okay. blighting a tree would have been fun yeah <laughs> blighting a tree is a lot of fun okay did that fucking tree not die <laughs> it is necrotic damage though isn't it blight yeah yes uh, uh, I Think so? Yes, I got a much on blight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe things would have gone slightly differently to what you think, but more never know. Or something. Okay. So Grey, as you step into the cave, once again, as as Rune did, a wave of I'm not gonna say nostalgia, but Familiarity? Yes. Familiarity washes over you. Well, Casting a glance back over your shoulder, you see that the, the sandstorm has now arrived in full. Barely even see the trees that were mere feet away from the uh, for the entrance. However, the sand doesn't seem to enter through here. And the sound is muted as well. You know, the, the, the howling wind, the sound of sand striking stone should be Deafening, especially in an echo chamber like this, but it's almost muted. You stand here on the black sand, surrounded by black stone walls. What would you like to do? Just, um, gonna. Is it dark in here as well? Sorry. It is dark, dark. I'm going dark, to dark. pull out my hooded lantern then and give us a little bit of light. Okay. So the light illuminates a black sand floor stretching off into the distance. Dark volcanic stone creating a tunnel of the walls and the ceiling. Looking at it, it's a it, vaguely shiny, almost a gloss effect. Nothing, Not like it's a obsidian glass or anything like that but almost gives it like a, a wet look but but when you run your hand over it it's completely dry so Raoul would uh, pull out a torch and reach for his tinderbox and then just hold his hand out as if <laughs> nine I have not taken it this time don't <laughs> worry oh sorry sorry it's in this pocket okay <laughs> Like raising hands in feigned upset. <laughs> how could how could you think so badly of me? So there there is a there is a way that we can go. Yes, there is a. Oh yes. Then, um, um, uh, feeling the familiarity you mentioned, I think. Do we want to push on? I, 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 I wouldn't mind sitting down for a minute, but should we 
If you Continue need to, a little further first. If you need to, we can. Uh, yeah, I got hit pretty hard a couple times there. Um, well, then let's uh, take a rest. You want to do that right here, or should we continue? Is this is safe it, enough? Is it, uh, I'll watch over you. Uh, you can sit down. How far does the cave go? Can we see any tunnels coming in on the other side? Or is it is the light not going far enough to illuminate any other paths? Uh, so the light from a, from a lantern is, what, 20 feet? Uh, or is it 20, 20 light and 20 dim? Uh, 20 and 20 or 30 and 30. I'm just looking now. I think it's 20, 20. Coded lantern is 30 and 30. Okay. The light spell is 20 and 20. Ah, uh, okay. See, yeah, it's fine. I, I'm an experienced DM, guys. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, the, the distance. You can see it is stretching off into darkness. Um, however, if Grey were to look with his eyes, uh, he may see that uh, at almost the edge of his vision, the uh, there is a back wall uh, to this tunnel. I just need to know if we're short resting or not. If we need to, we we do it. Yeah, if you need to, if you need to rest, then we it would we sit. Be wise. Ah, hmm. I will watch for the trees. Ah. As a um, a question, Troy. Yes. We are technically <clears throat> are we classed as undead now, or are we? I think we discussed, we, did, we discussed this the other day, didn't we? Um, I don't think so. You are reborn. I'm just saying, for cure wounds, which doesn't <laughs> <be undead. laughs> For the purposes of spell casting, we are... We have an undead essence, but we are not undead. Yeah, humanoid. Yeah. We are still humanoid rather than undead. Yeah, the type is humanoid. Um, in the original Unearthed Arcana, which kind of was used before the uh, Reborn was a proper race. Um, they, they would be... They, they, were, they, they were classed toyed, as undead. They toyed with having dual creature types Yeah, uh, but, when they originally released the Unearthed Arcana, uh, but yeah. they decided to go just with humanoid, humanoid and keep yeah. it as a single... a single yeah, creature Messy type. otherwise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, you know, no. you um, yeah. For all the, for intents and purposes, um, things like cure wounds uh, are gonna, yeah, heal you. Like um, divine sense, for instance, um, wouldn't yeah. you? You wouldn't. You wouldn't ping as undead. Cool. Um, okay. Yeah. No, I'll leave it then. We're gonna have a little rest. Okay. 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 So watch. Okay, so Grey and Toral, you sit on the sand. It's quite cold to touch. And as you sit, we're back to the wall. Relaxing, if only briefly. You fit the back of your head you know, briefly grazes the inside of the wall. And you get a flash of white light behind your eyes. A sound of screaming a kaleidoscope of suffering and pain hitting you within a microsecond that, that's the moment we sort of close our eyes and almost rest yeah there were as soon as, soon as wow. you, know, you basically the moment you the moment you let your guard down it just flashes through you quick as lightning leaving behind a feeling of Pain and unease and torment and terror. And that would continue for the time of the rest, or is that just no, 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 no? Just literally, just ha happens just instantly, like a flash, like a like an electric shock. Yeah. So with that, Terrell would open his eyes again, look round, check his location, and and then close his eyes. Sorry, can you just remind me? When I roll the hit dice, do I get the constitution bonus for each dice? Yes. 
Well, I shall do so now. And I can roll as many as I want and then always roll more, right? No, you or have to I, choose uh, the amount that you want to roll at the start. And then once you've rolled those, that's how many you've used. It's right, not a it's gonna... not a top up system. It's a okay. If you've got then, five, you could pick three or pick one or pick five, and that's what you get. Then I'm doing. <clears throat> so we're level nine, so I get nine. You get nine hit die. Plus constitution. Okay, then I'm just going to do all plus of them. Con- yeah plus your constitution modifier for each of them. Okay. Oofy sauce. Okay. Rolling all of them. Yikes. Jesus, you did get hit hard, didn't you? Yep. There's maybe one more than I needed, but Okay, I'm 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 looking alright again. <clears throat> this uh this place has changed. I pretty sure this is it, but Something is definitely off. Mm, very different. But so familiar. Shall we push on? Yeah. Okay. Having taken your rest and regaining your feet, you head off into the darkness. And as Grey was able to see in the, in the with his very lengthy uh, dark vision, the cave does indeed stop towards the end. But as you reach the back wall, you see in the floor an opening. And Grey and Rune, you would remember there was a waterfall here when you were here last. Hmm, yes. That you scaled down into the darkness good god yes that's where Rickarl nearly drowned indeed <laughs> and oh is- shit I just sorry please let's finish the game and I will say it afterwards <laughs> <laughs> I think we forgot to, start to do something very important no it's fine I, I took I, I thought of that I'm not gonna I wasn't gonna make you do it um okay yeah but as you <clears throat> stand here and you look into the darkness and that memory crashes over you I think that's what we'll call it for this evening ah man yeah fair oh, enough that quick god damn just, just looked at the time that's fair yeah. enough yeah, yeah. it makes sense <laughs> sorry <laughs> Troy I didn't mean to sense. step on your, your ending there I just suddenly remembered something <laughs> I'll, did, I'll, get, what, I'll get I'll get you next time did I completely forget or did we not do anything with Rickle's body you all forgot um yeah. But wasn't my friend. I actually thought about that today, and now I I forgot it as soon as the game started. I think during the couple days that we were hanging around, we would have oh yeah yeah yeah. something with it. Basically, is that you 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 carried him all the way through the underdark escape, and then you made it to the tree. You put him down. Um, I forgot about him. <laughs> you you put him down, went to go through, uh, and you all went through the um, the tree in, in a hurry. And Bonk, just as he was about to step through, looked back for oh, for fuck's sake, picked him up and carried him through with you. <laughs> okay, he's a good lad, that. Yeah. And I hey, assume we were. It wasn't my friend. Uh, <laughs> some sort of. I have no stake or... in another body. There we go. So there we go. Thank yeah. you very much, everybody. Yes, yes. Hope- I hope you had a good time. Oh, absolutely, uh, great fun. Yeah, a little bit of a bit of, little bit of a new area to <clears throat> traverse through. Yeah, a bit of a, bit of a and yeah, trees that want to murder us. Trees that want to murder you. Yeah. Hey. When uh, when I said about the uh, how was that tree not dead, I then glimpsed at your your screenshot and was like, mm-hmm. ah, okay, yep, I see why it wasn't dead. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Yes, wow. you can thank you can thank the AI bot for that uh, tree. That, that was uh, that was uh, created by the uh, the AI That's bot. Awesome! That is awesome. Mm. Wow, it's, it's got some good. It's got some good flavor text as well. <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, let me let me find it. Yeah, it's right at the end. And I'm, I'm sure you'll never see them again. Oh no, not at all. <laughs> never. Oh no. Nope. nope. 
They're uh, not so canon and part of this world. No, no. No, no. <laughs> so, as the as the bot gave it, <clears throat> meet the demon tree. With roots that stretch deep into the underworld, standing and opposing 25 feet tall, the tree is covered in thick black bark and branches that seem to writhe in, with otherworldly energy. Its leaves are blood red, but obviously not hexadermal leaves. And its trunk is adorned with numerous grotesque faces that seem to be screaming in agony. Oh my. <laughs> the demon tree is a formidable foe, but it's also a patient one. It will wait for its enemies to come to it, using its roots to snare them and drag them closer so it can attack with its powerful slam. Beware the demon tree, for it is a creature of the abyss that hungers for souls. <laughs> no. <laughs> and nope. I don't like it. Let's go. Uh, the rogue has <laughs> run away. <laughs> so that was cool. Excellent. Thanks, guys. This is, has been fun, as always. Um, it I fun too. And uh, to any viewers that we may have, um, I, uh, I saw Sly was in the uh, was in the chat at one point. So Hi, nice Sly. Hi, Sly. Um, so yeah, that's it. So uh, yeah, don't forget to um, check us out on Neverwinter Wednesdays, and yeah. uh, you know everything uh, everything going according to plan. We should be back next Thursday for more adventures in the Cave of Lights. Wonderful. Boop, 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 and boop. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's only one thing left to say, isn't it, guys? Uh, a couple, to say. couple things. Couple things. Is that? Firstly, hmm? Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays to anyone who oh, don't do who has it. Or oh, shut up! I can be festive. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all the all the lovely fun things. If you do celebrate them, uh, do have a, a wonderful uh, time off if you have it. Uh, to any of our any of our followers and to you all as well because oh. I like you people sometimes. Do you? Um, yeah, thank maybe. You. And a, a, a mediocre humbug to anyone that's like me and doesn't do for this kind of thing. That's fair. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. And okay. Troy, would you like to sign us off in our customary chit show? Um. No. I mean, yes. I mean, no. Um, <laughs> hold on. Uh, yes, I would like to say, <clears throat> with it from the bottom of my heart, uh, be a Shaley. Apparently, don't be a dick in Mandarin. Um, so. Okay. Uh, okay. That's it. It's done. It's done. Thank nice. you. <laughs> 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 An odd choice, but fuck it, why not? Yeah. <laughs> thing. Uh, so yeah, with that, thank you very much, everybody. Don't be a dick. Have a lovely holiday, Christmas, time off. Just, just enjoy your time off work if you're having it. And um, we'll see you all next time. Bye. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye. 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 Never before